okay good morning everyone so today we will come with a very exciting lecture that is over the surface analysis tool so how we will going to use the surface analysis tool and you will going to calculate the slope aspect hill shade and the contour maps and how we will going to convert it in the 3d also and we will also see over the 3d how we, you can convert the satellite images also in a 3d view okay so these are the things which we will going to discuss so i hope it will be a very interesting lecture and i will request everyone please see the full video and if you like the video please subscribe the channel also okay and share the videos to the others so uh, usually you all know and you already did uh, this all analysis with the arcgis desktop but i think this is a very important thing which you have to know which is uh, we are going to use by the technique of arcgis pro and in this arcgis pro if you see here the i am going to use a cartosat dem which i am just taking i am just downloading from the isro website okay so if you want you can uh, download a uh, um, this data from isro dem data download you can take like this and you can go isro dem data download you just search like this okay and here you have a bhuvan portal okay like here this is the bhuvan portal so under the bhuvan portal you have these options okay like cartosat 1 is giving you the uh, digital elevation data you can select it you can go for the all versions of the dem okay so and then uh, whatever area you require suppose this for this particular purpose i am using the sikkim part okay so sikkim dem i am just going to use so that okay so that you can select how will select so you just simply go here select the tiles click on the starts and whatever you want you can select that particular tool by the pressing control you can select the mode boxes also then uh, you just simply go to the next okay and if you want to see you can see the uh, the dem quality and all so this is the come it will come no problem <coughs> okay and here this is the options to download so before download you have to do the login option you just see here it is asking for the login so if you have your login id using the same login id you just login okay otherwise if you want to create a new login means id for you so then you can go to the new user and you just know so after this you will get this data okay so suppose i am just going to show you how this data sets you will looking like so this is the data sets which you will get as a compressed file okay so that file which you can extract so see this is a complete file so that <coughs> we will get a dem something like this so this is a tip file which we will going to use it for the dem purpose okay for the dem purpose now how we will going to do it how we will going to do it so you just see here we can see uh, we have this uh, dem data okay and how we can use this dem data to uh, to convert it in a 3d format okay so not only 3d format i'm going to calculate the very first thing that is the you can say aspects you want to calculate okay or uh, you just simply go to this aspect option so if we are eight directions how this um, slopes are actually changing so that is basically aspects okay so if you see here uh, this is the input parameters is your dem okay so if you want to mo no, learn more about this okay so you can more about you can go to this uh, option okay and you can see here uh, drive aspect the cells on the raster surface the aspect identification compass <coughs> the direction that the downhill slope faces for the each locations of the surface parameter tools providing a new implementations of the enhanced functionality okay so that is how this uh, one is working this aspect tools you can read more on this and now you want to calculate so simply go to this give the dem as a input wherever you want to save your output you can save i'm just going to save it in a by default see by default it is going to this test code okay so so i'm just uh, going to send it there okay and you just see simply click on the run or if you want so or you want to change it some other box so you can uh, select some other folder also uh, wherever you want to save okay so that also you can do but anyway i'm just going to run it so just see the output so this is the way how you are going to calculate the uh, aspect over the image okay the the digital elevation over the digital elevation the, so this is the aspect data so see here every eight directions how the slopes are changing so that is actually giving it to you okay so now uh, uh, means where is high aspect and low aspect so all this information you will get with in every eight directions now uh, if you want to calculate the slope okay so you can calculate the slope also i'm just switching off this and if you want to calculate the slopes simply click on the slopes and you can take this uh, dem as a input again 
okay and then you can calculate either in degree or you can percentage whatever you want so slope you can calculate in a both way okay and then simply click on run so let us see the output and see this is how the slopes are actually changing so if you want to change uh, this color pattern so if you want you can go here okay and you can change the color scheme whatever you want you can go for the color scheme so i can give this on also so you can see this color scheme uh, whenever i will going to show you in a 3d so you will get in a very better idea how this actually the slopes is actually changing okay so now one more things which we will going to check so that is basically the hill shade okay so if you see here so many people are asking me this all three things okay so that's why i'm just showing this so now this is the hill shade options will be there so if you want to uh, take the dem again as a input okay you can use your own azimuth or attitude also if you want okay but in general i'm just uh, going to default and simply click on run so let's see the uh, hill shade output So this is the your output of the hill shed. Okay, so how it is actually coming, and now uh, the last options which you want that is how to generate a contours. If you want to generate a contours, then how can we generate a contours? So I just taking the slope maps over the hill shed. Okay, so uh, better it will be better. Okay, and uh, you can take this uh, dame also in above because i will going to change it in a 3d so then it will be good and useful information for you so now you can change uh, this color if you want uh, the dem you want a more terrain color option so you can convert in a terrain color options and now you want to convert it in you can say uh, the contour you want to calculate so simply go here go back and this is the contour tools okay so click on the contour tools give your dem as a input and the contour interval so this we have to understand okay so usually see see here what is the range of this dam so it is from 1919 to the 7418 meter okay so this is the it is unit is in meter so accordingly you have to select the so you should not see this is a uh, uh, this is a cartosat dam so it is a 30 meter special resolution so we should not going to create a special resolution of the 10 meter okay or 20 meter because it's a dam of 30 meter so we should go beyond 30 meter like if it, if my uh, dam resolution is 30 meter i can create contour 40 meter 50 meter okay more than 30 meter it will be okay so if you go the less than 30 meter it will be creating a issue okay so here uh, if i give 40 meters is so many contours will come so what i am going to do i am going to take a contour interval of 500 meter okay so just simply click on the 500 meter so then this will be equally distributed and it will be looking better okay so uh, maximum vertices per features okay so i'm just giving that information so not this one sorry it's not required this is the contour interval sorry 500 meter okay contour interval i'm giving as a 500 meter so this is a compulsory you have to give this otherwise it will not going to work okay so simply run this tool and let's see and see here now your contours are coming very nicely so if you want to give <coughs> the, this contour as a label so that also you can do you can select it you can go to the label features okay under the label features you have this active once this layer will activate it okay so here you just see class one is your main feature and this under this field options you have the options of the contours so if you select the contours okay so now other uh, contour value will going to add with this so if you click on the label so now you just see here different contour levels so 500 to 1000 okay so every 500 meter how it is actually increasing so you can get a contour value like very nice this way okay now if you want to convert this total things in the 3d how it will looking like let's see okay so if i go to this view okay and here we have options view local scene to uh, or local scene or global scene anyone because a small area i go for the local scene so let's see how it is looking in 3d so let's wait for the output so now you just see the output how it is coming okay so this is the contour whatever it will coming okay so if you just simply drop it down okay and you just see very nicely you can see the contours with the exactly with the dam okay so that is the wonderful things you will get it here 
okay so like you will get the 3d info if you, if you want to see see the others also so that also you can able to see it here okay yeah now you just see uh, this is the dam and according to the dam this is the you can say this is your the contour lines whatever it is coming okay perfectly it is coming and sitting there okay so that is the wonderful of this particular software okay so you can do all the analysis over the 3d if you see the uh, slope map okay i'm just switching off this uh, dam and you just see the slope maps okay so you will get the slopes better understand okay how it is actually so here you just see here these are the more slopes so if you go in a top place okay so you will get a more slopes options okay so showing and there is a down part okay you just see here that is the showing it with the less so slope informations so that is how uh, we can understand the slope maps in a very better way than the 2d so 2d slope maps you understand you require a specific knowledge okay to interpret this map but if you are going to use the in the 3d the slope maps so you can very easily understand okay wherever it is a high slope and wherever is a low slope okay so so similarly you have the other maps also like uh, uh, this is also is there okay so this is your uh, you just see here this is the map of that okay like uh, you can say that is a hill shed map okay so this is your hill shed map okay how it is actually looking like okay so this is the way you will get all the maps here okay so uh, i hope you like this okay and if you want uh, to convert any uh, maps uh, the satellite image also okay so that also you can convert see suppose the uh, uh, if you have uh, that option so that also you can convert it very nicely over the 3d so cartosat okay so if you want to convert it you can convert it from here also or else we just see here we have this okay the satellite image <coughs> also you can open it in 3d and you can do the all the analysis over uh, in arcgis pro so uh, that's all uh, from my side okay so you just see here okay how we are actually uh, working with uh, the different types of data okay so basically we will try to work with the different types of the data so thank you uh, this is the way <coughs> how we are actually converting a satellite images also in 3d okay without changing anything you just see here okay so that is the wonderfulness of this particular thing see over the satellite image i can put my contour and i can see it also so that is the wonderful of this combination of the two things okay so this is actually i make it in uh, false color okay true color sorry if you want to convert it in a false color so then simply go here okay in a raster layer okay and you can put the band combination in color infrared so then you can see the satellite image also in a color infrared over that you can overlay your contours and you can check it in a very nice way so that's the beauty of uh, this combinations of the 3d and 2d analysis over in arcgis pro so that's all from my side okay so if you like the video you please uh, subscribe my channel okay thank you thank you very much okay so uh, please give your comments uh, how you feel about this particular video thank you